Hi, Micah. Hi. Stupid to Reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. Megan. Alexi. Greg. Please follow us on Instagram. It's so juicy. You see that? I don't like that. Please. He just ever. said, he just said, I don't like that. No, I don't. <laughs> it's not uh, pretty good. And oh. thank you for just putting us on Patreon and follow us on official Twitter account. And today we have Mike in the, his house. And there's no yeah. food going on, which is. <laughs> <laughs> shocking. Uh, but. That's shocking. Uh, we, I wanted to react to one of these with him for a while. It's a Tashar Lol Indian Jam project. <laughs> and it's the Inception one. You like Inception, Micah? Yeah. Who did the score for that one? The con score. <laughs> Who did the con score for that one? Hans Zimmer. Huh. Are you he familiar loves with him? I'm familiar. this film. He loves this composer. Do you like he this loves score? score. The one and the for, you and like, the director. You like this score of his, or the what's the other one with the space and Interstellar? Interstellar. He's done more than just those. Yes, two. I know, but I know. <laughs> I know yeah. you like those two a lot. Well, yeah, I also like Pirates of the Caribbean. That one's a good one. <laughs> that one's a good one. I know that one well. He also likes. He he pretty much loves Hans Zimmer. What's your favorite one? Guys? Probably Inception. Yeah, <laughs> I did it correctly. So here we go. <laughs> Is it silent? <laughs> <laughs> this movie's so cool.
anyways, if you thought what you just saw was good and different in any way, please hit subscribe because there are a lot of other projects on the way. I, I keep sure. reading the comment section. I saw things like a um, lot of the rings. Yes. Dark Knight. Both yes. Of, they're brilliant well, suggestions, that. so they're definitely happening. And uh, I don't think also the next game is coming out really, really soon. I I can actually drop a small hint for you. Uh, so let's see if you get that. I didn't. I got it. What is it? It's Mario. Something. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that one yet. Wow. Jeez. That reminded me how good that film was. Yeah. yeah. Watch it now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holy cow. His composition and the video, whoever put together his video mm -hmm. and, and edited that and, and matched some of the visual shots he used for their stuff versus the Inception clips really captured the spirit of the film. I want to watch it now. While, right? While mm -hmm. also if, bringing his own, whoever was doing, I know they're not flutes, but whoever was doing the woodwind mm -hmm. instruments that are Indian instruments. Yeah. Uh, the large one and the small one. Yeah. Which sounds like a piccolo. The little, uh, the little one. Let me know what they're called, please. Yeah. Please. Because, um, uh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the highest compliment we paid was the fact that I don't think we moved. Oh no. <laughs> it's just like, it might have been a very boring reaction. Very boring. Because I was just like, yeah. Whole Nothing cow. happened. Just us like this. <laughs> well, he just genuinely captured, if you have not seen Inception, watch it. Wait, stop watching this. One of the greatest go. motion Please, no. pictures ever made. Yeah. No joke. Uh, yeah, uh, you're brilliant at every level. And he captured the way... He captured the combination of the visual effects and the mind-bending story and the love story mm -hmm. weaved. Y'all know, know the score better than I do. He so does. How was, he knows how it was the best. The, uh, he knows it the best. Do you, do you recognize each one he was doing? What do you mean? Each song he Because he did multiple yeah. songs. Yeah, he blended the score, them. correct? Yeah. Um, so did he, did, did, how was it <laughs> for you? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> was the ending part, I love the visuals they did at the ending part with the waves going forward and backward. And I, it sounded to me that that was Tashar's composition. I don't recall that from the score. Was that something was from the, the piano and the... Yeah, the very, very ending there when he was doing, yeah, that, that was, was just Tashar, wasn't that it? Was him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not in the thing. No, not that him. was him doing some improvisation at the end that just carried over the feel. And I also loved at the very, very end, I was listening to it. He hit that last chord and he kept the, uh, the echo down, the pedal, and left it down until the entire decay mm -hmm. just, he, he didn't end it. He just let it decay on its own. Mm -hmm. Love it that he left the pedal down. Pedal to the metal, that's why I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play sports. Did he do it? This, is, this will be a high, uh, high compliment, he'll be honest. Did he do it justice, in your opinion? Yeah. That's high compliment. Yeah. There high, high compliment. There's nothing... And, but he also made it his own and put that Indian he did. soul into it. He did. But Mike, Micah is a man... I mean, no, a lot of you have commented on how Alexis often doesn't have a lot to say. Micah will be even less... Uh, verbose. So we brought them both here. That's right. <laughs> but I will, tell you, I, will, I will tell you this. They make one person. I will, I will tell you this together. in my family. The person with the most uh, gifted musical capacity is the man to our left right there. Thank you. And not That's you. Really, oh. And he, he also has a photographic memory. So he will remember. If Tashar had played... I'm not joking. If Tashar... <laughs> you done? <laughs> If Tashar had done anything false or interpreted something in a way that wasn't the way Hans Zimmer had interpreted it, even within the realm of a single note, Micah would have picked up on it and been very critical. So the fact that he felt that this was justified and was good is hugely complimentary to Tashar Law. Mm. I knew it would be. I, I was waiting for us to have this where he could hear it. Yeah. What did you think, lady? It's good. Made you want to see the movie again. Yeah. So, yeah. It did. Yeah. Cause I was, <laughs> I was watching because I have it. I have it back here somewhere in the eyes. Alphabetical. Anything you guys, anything you guys didn't like either about the composition or the video or. No. What about you, Micah? No, I thought it was good. This is clearly one of his later ones too, because he had looks like the the um, budget was a little bigger. Yeah. Um, and so like I love that each one of them is kind of reminiscent of what's going on in the. Uh, in the movie, right? So like he had the broken down building. Yeah. Him, so that was that was just... part of what I meant by the, the compliment yeah. the, the compliment of the way it was shot and edited and the framing of shots because there was a couple of shots where they framed it and it was the exact same spatial reference 
that was in the film. Like a shot on her standing there and looking at the house and then they go back to the flautist who was in the same spatial range and they got, you know, they didn't do what Christopher Nolan could do and do green screen and computer generated graphics, but they found complementary things construction architecture wise that looked yeah. a little bent and a little symmetrical it was my favorite great. one he's ever done was when the dark night, dark night. Uh, when he did that shot coming back and yeah. it was like a swooping down in yeah shot. dark night oh. was my favorite so good yeah um but yes uh i don't know how many more of his that uh, we haven't reacted to but hopefully he's coming out with some new stuff soon everyone he does we will yes we will yep and thanks for being here micah you too, Alexis. Not you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs>